Welcome back my lovelies. I'm excited because I don't know if you've missed me, but I have missed you very much because we took a little break, but I'm excited to be back and in full swing. And today's video is the one you guys requested. You guys wanted to see a more in-depth tutorial on how to do a full-on Dutch braid all around your head, basically like the halo crown milkmaid braid or all around the world type of braid. There's so many names. I'll just stick with a full Dutch braid hair tutorial, I guess. Quick side note, I'm obsessed with this shirt. I love it. So to begin, I'm gonna start the braid in the back of my head just because I think the transition is a lot prettier. So the crown is gonna be my guideline of where to grab my hair for the top portion of my head. So this is where the braiding begins. I'm gonna grab my initial first starting braiding section. I like to start with the top outer section. So taking the outer top section, tuck it underneath the middle, and then going to the bottom outer section, tuck it underneath middle as well. Next step is to add hair to the outer sections only. So the trick for me when I Dutch braid, this is what really helps me. So the outer section I take first underneath the middle, hold it, and then add hair to the middle portion. And then do the same thing. Tuck the outer section underneath and then add hair to the middle portion. So basically it kind of guarantees that everything is gonna be nice and tight and secure and it's going to look like a Dutch braid. So with this technique of starting from the back of my head, going all the way around, I'm only gonna switch my hands one time. So I made it all the way out to the other side of the ear, and this is where I'm gonna switch my hands because my hands can't go backwards anymore. So I'm just gonna hold everything in one hand, my left hand, making sure all three sections are separate. And then I'm just gonna switch over, taking my other hand to the other side, and then just start braiding like I am. Just don't forget where you end ended with the which section, top or bottom. Yeah, you're basically handing your baton. <laughs> All right, so now that I'm done, you guys can see that the braid is not perfectly aligned all the way around my head. Like right here on the side, it's a little bit going down and then going back up just a little bit, but that's okay because this is where the magic happens. This next step is pulling apart your braid. I think this is a very crucial step just because this just kind of looks boring, very schoolgirl kind of like. So now I'm gonna make it very modern and in your face. So this next step is important for me personally because I have very thin, fine hair. When I do pull it apart, if I don't have grit and texture in my hair, it will just fall back, it will just be limp, and it will not do anything. So this right here is the next step that I do. I use texture spray, dry shampoo, or some kind of hairspray to add that grit and texture into my fine, silky hair. And this is one of my favorite products. This is the Not Your Mother's Texture Spray. It's a great alternative to my Oribe Texture Spray. It's amazing. And so I, the only thing I do is spray it right on the braid just a little bit, just to give it that fine grit and texture to when I do pull it apart. So let's start pulling apart the braid. And I do it in little sections first. Started with the section on the top, bottom, and then make my way all the way around, doing a little bit. And now this is where I'm gonna hide the very back of the braid, the end of the braid. So basically take a bobby pin, pin it right where the elastic is, make it whole, and then take it right through the hole and then just secure the bobby pin underneath the Dutch braid. So now I'm almost done. So this is where I go and do the finishing touches. Basically, if I feel like a braid is sagging, I will bobby pin it, secure it even more, and then I will go back one more time around and pull it apart as big as I can, if I can, because I do have really short hairs, as you can see right here. So now I'm gonna go back in, see where some of the braid is sagging. Like this right here is not as tight, it's kind of loose. So I'm just gonna take a bobby pin, of course, my favorite ones, Meta Grip. And then because it is a Dutch braid, it is ridiculously easy to disguise. So just take the bobby pin right underneath the braid and then just take the hairs and then just secure it up 
going towards, like alongside the braid. All right, last step, some hairspray because they have layers. These layers are sticking out like right here because I pulled apart the hair. So I'm gonna use one of my favorites, Sebastian Shaper Plus. This is extra hold. Since we are in Florida, I only uh, need a little bit of help. And the same thing, I'm just gonna spray right on the braid where I need the extra secure and kind of put down the little flyaways. And this concludes my in-depth how-to halo slash crown slash milkmaid slash all around the world Dutch braid hair tutorial. Let me know where you would wear this braid. I'm gonna wear it out to Top Golf tonight. I'm excited. It's gonna be a good day. But thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.